The two-day workshop is being facilitated by the African Union Development Agency and is being attended by experts from Botswana, Namibia and South Africa. The much-anticipated African Integrated High-Speed Railway Network is an integrated cross-border high-speed railway network for the African continent. The network is to be formed by a set of individual links that are to be built by respective sovereign states who wish to be part of the continental network, entering into multinational treaties or cooperation agreements, reads a section of a NIPAD report availed to NAMPA. Speaking during the session, Botswana Railway Director of Operation, Boinele Shubane, said it is time to intensify the construction of the Transkalahari Railway. The railway line would connect Botswana to the Namibian coast with the sole benefit of connecting landlocked Botswana to Namibia's port of Alves Bay, thus unlocking the value of coal mining in Botswana and power generation in the region. If you look at the volume that moves between Durban and uh, the rest of Africa, it's massive. And uh, the question is, how long are we going to be dependent on the Durban Harbor? when we have uh, World Fish Bay, which is right here. Agreeing with him was Hanif Ebrahim, an advisor in the South African presidency, who indicated that with South Africa serial Ramaphosa now chairing the African Union, the implementation of the high-speed railway network should be one of the chief priorities. Also making his contribution during the session was Valves by Corridor Group Chief Executive Officer Hipuchivikwa who said they will do everything to ensure that the railway network is implemented. NIPAD aims to eradicate poverty, promote sustainable growth and development, integrate Africa into the world economy, and accelerate the empowerment of women. Josephine Simeon, Nampa News.